Hi, boys and girls. I'm back. This time, not with a book. This time, I'd like to play a game with you. I'd like to play a guessing game with you. I have some little pictures here, and on each of my pieces of paper, I've drawn a picture of something that we see or experience during the spring. Are you ready? I'll give you some clues, and I hope you can guess what I've drawn on my pieces of paper. All right. My first piece of paper has something drawn on it. Something I see some days when I look at the sky. It's made of water, and sometimes it looks really fluffy. Hmm. Do you know what it is? Are you ready? It's a cloud. Sometimes we see them. Sometimes we see lots of them, especially when it rains. Mm -hmm. All right, my second drawing is something we see in the sky, but it's not a cloud. Hmm, it's actually really different from a cloud. It's really hot, it's really bright, and it's a star. In fact, it's our own special star. It's the one that's closest to us. Do you know what it is? Have you made a guess? It is the sun. I like it when we see the sun. <laughs> All right, my next one here. It's not something we see in the sky. And unlike the sun in a cloud, this is a living creature. This is actually a plant. Hmm. When I look at my little picture, I think of something that smells nice, that can be very colorful and pretty, and sometimes we cut a few of them to give them to people we care about. Are you ready? Oh, did you see it? I might have given it away. A flower! We can see lots of pretty flowers right now. All right, my next three are each animals, different kinds of animals. Let's start with this guy. He's pretty cute. This is an animal. It is something that likes to live near water because it needs to stay moist. It loves to hop. It's really good at jumping. And sometimes when we read about them in books, we read about them making noises like this. Ribbit, ribbit. Did you guess? It is a frog. Rid it, rid it. <laughs> all right, this is a tricky one. This might, might be the trickiest one of all. It's also a kind of animal, but it's not a frog. It does have to stay moist. But unlike a frog, it doesn't have any legs. It's soft, squishy, kind of slimy. What else can I say? Mm, oh, squirmy. Oh, and birds sometimes eat these guys for dinner. Did you guess? It's a worm. Squirmy, squirmy. All right, my last one. I really like the sound of this one here because when I hear the sound of this animal, it really makes me think of spring. This animal can fly often has a pretty sound when it likes to talk. We see them in the spring. They like to eat worms, bugs, and sometimes we even make little houses for them so that we can see them when we're at our houses. Did you guess? Oh, and it has feathers. That's pretty important. This last one is a The birds that I see a lot at my house are blue jays, chickadees, and cardinals. And the cardinals sound so pretty, and they're so beautiful and bright red. I hope you get to see lots of birds outside. And if our weather improves, we could go for some walks and see some of those things that I wrote about. I hope you enjoyed my game, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.